I don't want to just know the truth. I want to live the truth. Lord, I'm so tired of living with worry and anxiety. I want to put my faith into action. Lord, today I lay down my timeline, fear of man, fear of money, my identity, my talents, my gifts, my worries of tomorrow. Thank you, Lord, for your help. Thank you, Lord, for your provision in my life. Thank you for your protection. Please lead and guide me. Thank you for always being with me, for never leaving me or forsaking me. Thank you for your help. You have answered so many prayers. Thank you, Lord. Welcome to the Creator's Guide. This is episode two, Lay It All Down. Now, if you haven't seen episode one, Calling, go check that out now. Pause this, please go check that one out, and then come back. Okay, so welcome to episode two, Lay It All Down. If you're a Christian, you already are familiar with lay it all down. Give it all to Jesus. Lay it all at the feet of Jesus. Bring it to the altar. Surrender your life to him as Lord and Savior. But maybe you didn't really think about how that was including your career. Maybe you didn't think as a creative in particular how your gifts was something to lay down before him. For him to show you how to use your gifts for him why he gave you those talents and abilities in the first place. That's the focus of this episode, laying it all down with an emphasis on creatives laying down their creative gifts, their plans, their ambitions, all the different drives that are attached to it, their identity in it, and lay it all down. The purpose of this we're going to go over, but it is essential to walk out your calling and your purpose by God, to lay it all down at the feet of Jesus. So in maybe you've already done this, and this is just going deeper than for you. Either way, join us on this adventure as we go up the mountain and lay it all down. Okay, if it isn't obvious right now, she is laying it all down before the feet of Jesus. And we want to invite you to join in on this journey by pausing this video and doing exactly what she did. Write down in the journal what the Holy Spirit is putting on your heart that you can lay down before the feet of Jesus. Maybe you already know, but again, the emphasis here is for creatives to lay down their gifts, their talents, their ambitions, their plans for their gifts and their identity in their gifts before the feet of Jesus. And as you're doing this, we're going to go over a story of a father and a son and how the father had to give up what he held most precious before God. After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. He said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love and go to the land of Moria and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey, and I, the boy, will go over there and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father, And he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. When they came to the place of which God had told them, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his thorns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide. 
as it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Once you lay it all down before the feet of Jesus, whatever was meant for you will remain. In a sense, he'll give right back to you, just like he did to Abraham. He had no intention of taking Isaac. The whole point of the story isn't about human sacrifice. It's about having a heart that is fully God's. And when you have a heart that's fully God's, he can fully work in your life. <sighs> and it is such freedom to just lay it all down before the feet of Jesus, to give God everything. And as a creative, once you do this, once you lay everything down before him, you can begin to walk a life of using your creativity according to God's calling and purposes for it. That's my prayer for you. And that was the purpose of this video. Say, I am his daughter. And the vision he gave me was so.